with Baker Machado, Queens Night Market is officially open for the season. Yeah, returning to the former site of the 1964 World for the seventh season running, the market showcasing Queens, the most ethnically diverse urban area in the world. Home, of course, to one handed down. But yes. Cheddar Senior reporter Chloe Aiello stopped by, all to get a taste. Take a look at this. Queens Night Market is putting diversity on full display through none other than food. Our mission is to curate traditional foods that might might be hard to find in New York City. And in order to sort of pass the, uh, the rigorous application process, you have to have grown up eating what you're selling. On one of two preview days, the only days of the season when admission isn't free, the market features more than 50 different vendors from dozens of countries. And the selection is likely to change from week to week. The long list of options can be overwhelming, so it's helpful to have a plan of attack. I found that the best technique was you gotta do a lap. So you gotta go around and you gotta see what you like, you know, get an idea, see if the line's long. If it's not too long, maybe hop on. But uh, for the most part, just get get an idea of what's good. I tried everything from squid to, um, like I said, jerk chicken. I just wanted to see how everything was. It was a lot of different variety. Burmese Bites was one of the original vendors when Queen's Night Market kicked off eight years ago. Nobody knows what homie food is. Queen's Night Market, once people come over here, they are kind of ready to eat. And plus, everybody who comes over here has open mind. Cambodia now serves up fish amok, the nation's national dish. The fish amok, um, it's pretty pungent and smelly. Well, it's not smelly to me, but it's aromatic. Um, I, I didn't want to put it out at first, but they're very welcoming and opening, like open, mind, open minded, and so I'm trying new cuisine. At Singaporean Lion City Coffee, the most popular dish is a stir fried radish cake. I think people come hungry, adventurous, and just really daring, um, willing to try different you know, cultures and experiences. Blintz Box is a husband and wife team serving up Ukrainian specialties like Blintz wraps and borscht. We've seen uh, a lot of support, a lot of solidarity, uh, not just amongst you know Ukrainians in the U.S., but just you know people in general living in you know New York or you know just countrywide. It's been uh, it's been phenomenal. Yeah. Plus, each dish is capped at 5 to $6, which keeps it accessible to a wide range of people. Great prices. I have never tried pupusas that are $3. That's a great price. For customers, that's good news. I would normally only be able to get maybe two or three things at a smorgasbord or another food festival. I can basically stuff myself senseless here. But with inflation up a staggering 8.5% year over year, it can get rough for the vendors. It's been really, really challenging, but hey, you know, as long as, you know, audience are coming back, they're loving it, you know, we're happy to serve. But keeping prices low is at the core of the festival's mission. Because at Queen's Night Market, diversity is about more than ethnicity. It can take so many forms, right? It can take sexual orientation, color of skin, and countries. Just saying hey, we've represented 95 countries doesn't really do justice to the diversity here. As America, it's a mixing pot. So this right here is like an example of United States is everything, everything collided, making to one big meal, one new thing. So I think it was pretty cool. For Cheddar News, 